take a good look at the forecast with the weekend when I come back during the 6 o'clock edition of News 11. Rudy? It's a good thing there's no snow. There'd be a whole lot of little nanooks to the north running oh, around. That would be me. terrible. Wouldn't it be awful? Yeah. Well, so, now are we supposed to, are we supposed yeah. to do sports now? We are? Oh, I'm not going to do sports, but yeah, I just you stopped do by it. to work today to pick up my paycheck, and the next thing I know, I've got a new basketball coach, and Orioles have made a trade. I should have stayed at home. No, this is more exciting. That's this has right. been terrific. The Orioles today traded Storm Davis to San Diego for catcher Terry Kennedy and minor league relief pitcher Mark Williams, Williamson, who was the top relief pitcher in the AAA Pacific Coast League at Las Vegas last season. Now, you never really know how a trade is going to work out. But the Orioles have given up a young, hard-throwing pitcher with a winning record for a guy who some scouts think is on the downside of his career. Well, Storm Davis never really lived up to the expectations that some had for him, you know, like becoming the next Jim Palmer. Even though his ERA last season was the lowest among Orioles starters, he was on the disabled list twice and finished the season on September 3rd after suffering a severe ankle injury in this game against California. I think some people in the organization were afraid that Storm just would never become the dominant pitcher that they had hoped for. As for Kennedy, he's a pull hitter, a left-handed bat, but his offensive numbers have dropped from his best years in the early 80s. General Manager Hank Peters thinks, though, that Kennedy can bounce back. The reports on his hitting and his style of hitting uh, indicate to us that he can improve on what he has done the last year or so. Uh, sometimes I think we find that when hitters try to do maybe more than they're capable of doing, they, uh, they suffer as a result of it. And perhaps returning to a more natural style will be better for him. We'll find that out. I guess we will. Hank was asked if he felt he had paid a high price for Kennedy. He said, well, it's a high price for a young pitcher, but it's a high price for an everyday catcher. So he thinks he, he hopes he made a trade that both sides are going to be happy with. <laughs>